All right. I'm hoping that fixed the live stream. And I'm hoping people are able to jump back on. I know it takes a moment for us to kind of get everything squared away. Hi, David. Welcome. All right. It looks like it's running much smoother now. I, For some reason, OBS crashed. OBS Studio, which is the software that I use. And I really do apologize for that. Like I said, there's thunderstorms moving into the area. I wonder if it has something to do with that. Or maybe it's time that I look at a different type of software because maybe there's a compatibility issue. Um, but j -Rim, thank you for jumping back on. I really appreciate that. I know that this can be very, very frustrating. And the fact that you guys keep coming back is, is really, really inspiring to me. Yeah, it looks like it's running much better now. So I may have to do it this way. I've got a full screen capture going on right now of just my... my um desktop rather than the actual game window itself so um but it seems like it's handling it just a bit better and uh hopefully we won't have any continued issues so it is saying it's not receiving enough video to maintain smooth streaming so you might experience buffering which is understandable again because i live out in the sticks and of course with thunderstorms that always messes with the connectivity but it seems like it's running straight through for me at least on on my screen so um awesome anyway uh david you missed the big reveal uh jerem guessed correctly that we have a brand new twiggy on our yukon map and while the live stream is about hunting quail and getting on the quail trail because that's what everybody in my last uh community poll suggested i do i did want to go take out this brand new twiggy and add him to our twiggy lodge and he just so happens to be the biggest little Twiggy I have ever seen in my life. And that is a Plains Bison Twiggy. So we're going to go catch up with him again. Because I have known about him for a week. And I'm really, really looking forward to harvesting him. Now, you may notice the small blue number up in the corner. That is my uh, alternative video recording software. And uh, I do want to capture this moment. Maybe make a short out of it. Or make add it to a longer video. So I'll be having that turned on. It should not capture chat or anything like that. So just be aware of that. And we're going to head down that way and get into position. He is way down here. This is where his need zone is. So we'll head over there and uh, get this thing going. And then we'll go split our time between Mississippi Acres and um, New England looking for Bob White Quail. Now, uh, Casey, welcome back and sorry to see you go. Um, but I'm glad you were able to jump back on and just let me know. It means a lot that you were able to do that. And, uh, just come back and watch the live stream and keep a lookout for a future video here in a little bit. Um, cause I will capture the moment I take this Twiggy Bison, uh, on video as well. But thank you so much for just hopping on to let me know. I, I was uh, looking for you, hoping you'd come back, but, uh, I'll, hopefully you can jump back on later in the live stream, but thank you so much and stay safe. David, what I call a piebald twiggy is a Gerald. <laughs> I love that. Yes. Now, KC killed Clinton. He found a Gerald over a year ago, but it popped up in my shorts feed as though it had just happened. So, of course, I freaked out and I like wrote a, te uh, a message on it. And I was like, oh, my gosh, you got a twiggy and explain what a twiggy was. And then I realized, oh, this was a short from a year ago. So I had to quantify it and say, um, I realize this is an old short, but... <laughs> But I had to celebrate it because it just means that we are able to do that probably potentially once I get my red deer grind up to snuff again. But yeah, we'll have to get ourselves a a Gerald at some point. <laughs> I like that. I like that. I like how we're just coming up with random names for everything now. That's I think we should. Like maybe each specific diamond, like a diamond red fox should have its own name. And I'm going to call that a, a coop that'll be a coop diamond because he's the one who suggested it and if you haven't seen that recent video with the fran fans brilliant idea please go check it out that was an awesome long track hunt of a diamond level nine legendary red fox oh my gosh this is a long run for a twiggy holy moly oh what's that oh okay that's one of the bisons it was so bright, I thought for a moment it was like a, a, a albino bear or something. But no, it's one of them light gray. How are the light gray bison gray? Is that just something that, that I can't see properly? Because I'm not, I'm not colorblind. I'm, I'm sure not colorblind. But um, when I look at the light gray bison, they look brown to me. 
So is that just something that maybe the the name's just weird or what? I wonder where Twiggy's gonna be. He looks dark. Um, he might be a dark brown. Oh my god, this is a long run. There are some of our bison friends now, but not the ones we're looking for. Is it not the bison you're looking for? That is my horrible, horrible Obi-Wan impression. Right, so there he is. There's our little level one Twiggy Plains Bison all the way down there. And we got to run all the way around these folks to, to get down to him. But there he is. Isn't he cute? He's so tiny. He looks like a little cow. Hi, friends. Oh, hello. Big old beefaloes. Go running with the beefaloes again. Wee. Ah, oh, please do not shoot me, or run me over, rather. I wonder if that light-colored female's down here again. On the last attempt at this live stream, we ended up seeing a really light-colored female. That might have been a piebald one, but I don't know. The, she could have just been lit by the sun in a funny way. Unfortunately, he's in a bad position now. Yeah, I don't see her. Or if she is, she's just a plain old color. Alright, let's go get our Twiggy before something goes wrong. Alright. So there he is. Look at that minimum starting score. 0 to 48. That is ridiculous. That is literally the smallest boy I've ever seen in my life. I've never seen a large animal like this have a minimum starting trophy score at that low. That is crazy. Of all the times to be attacked by geese. We still need our community diamond goose. Which... I haven't seen a level 5 of these guys yet. So, that'll be fun when we get that going. It also surprises me that Canada goose are not on the New England map. Because... They're a big thing in New England. <laughs> They're a big thing all across the United States. All right. Let's get up on him. Gotta remember to turn on my recording software. Swing kind of wide. Now, I have the 338 bolt action for this. I've really come to enjoy it for large game. I haven't tried it a lot on anything other than the bison or the water buffalo species, though, so. All right. He is so adorable. I can't wait to get this fellow in the lodge. He'll be the biggest little twiggy we've ever gotten. Hopefully he scores a natural bronze. That's the big test. Alright, I think we're good where we're at. Alright, so here we go. Let's get that recording. And here we go, guys. We're going to take our biggest little twiggy. That should be good. Are you angry, twiggy? Are you an angry twigglet? Oh, yes, you are. Yes, up oh, and down he goes. All right, so at least it was a good shot. That's pretty much solid indicator that that was a good shot. I have known about this boy for over, a, almost, not over a week. I found him after our last live stream. But I've known about him for a while, so I'm very, very happy to finally bring him down. 
and that you guys got to see it on live stream. So let's go take a look at him. Make sure that he's a bronze because that's the big test. If he's not a bronze, then he's not a twiggy. Angie Tiggy, here he is. Here he is. Let's stomp down the grass. Here he is, covered in foam. Oh my gosh, look how tiny he is. He is an itty bitty boy. All right, here we go. And he's a natural bronze. Oh my gosh, he's 15. 15.12. <laughs> that is a tiny boy. Oh my goodness. And we got him in the liver and the lung. So that's good. We were a little far back, but I was a little worried about hitting that scapula, so I did place it a little further back. But, oh my goodness, 15.12 natural bronze with full score integrity. That is the tiniest big boy I've ever seen in my life. Oh my gosh, we definitely need to taxi him and get him over to the lodge. Let's go ahead. He looks good. Yes, thank you, David. I really appreciate that. Very happy to finally have him down. Oh, hi. They're getting crowded quite a bit. Oh, wait. Okay, for a moment I thought that was a Mela. It was just backlit. Oh my gosh, these guys always throw me for a loop on that. Holy moly. I do have a couple of nice level fours on the map, hither, thither, and yon. But today is all about quail. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to the Trophy Lodge. We're going to go to Sasika Safari 3. And we're going to put our Twiggy Bison up. And then we're going to go hunt some quail. And yes, let's go. Let's go, David. I agree. I read that as let's, or it or looks good. <laughs> All right. So now we are in our Twiggy Lodge. Oh, my goodness. And yes, it's kind of bare for now. But eventually, oh, you know what? I mean, we could put them in the back room. We could also put them in any one of these areas. And then I think I'd, I... Have I guys showed you our our most recent Twiggy before the bison? That's this fella here. Oh, come on. Investigate mode. Okay, there he is. So this was our European hare who run, ranks in at a 2.6 natural bronze. And uh, yeah, he goes alongside our sweet little mountain hare of the same score. So there's him. So we could put Twiggy, the Twiggy Bison, back here somewhere. Or we could start filling out the main hallway, but maybe we should start back here. All right, here he is. Oh my gosh. <gasps> Look at how tiny he is. What an itty bitty boy. Let's see, what looks good? Um, oh, I kind of like that one. All right, I think that looks good. So we're filling out the room. Hi, Twiggy. We're filling out the room. We now have a bison. We have a bear. We have a moose, pig, goose, our little musk deer. And of course, our uh, Rocky Mountain elk who <laughs> looks so mad. He's still mad about that. Oh my gosh, how small is he? He's so small. Oh my gosh. All right. So now it's time to get on the quail trail. And what I want to do is I want to go to Mississippi Acre first because uh, I've already done some hunting out here. I can't remember if I've done anything to open New England right now. But, you know, if I haven't opened New England all that much, there's always that chance that an initial spawn great one may have been a thing. Yes, Jerem, he is a super tiny twiglet. All right. So now we are on Mississippi Acre's. I've got my shotgun, and now I just need to go find quail. Now, I, I like I said, I've run around here. I, this is where my Mississippi Mud Bucks video took place, is up in this little corner up here. And in all throughout these areas, I've found and heard quails. So we're just going to run through here and see what there is to find. Who knows? Maybe we'll get a great one whitetail. Maybe there's a great one uh, black bear on my map. Who knows, because these are all initial spawns. I haven't really done much except to hunt stuff down here. Mostly wild hog. Um, oh, there's some, some Bob White over there, so hang on here. Let's see, Bob White. Ooh, Angie Gator. Angry Gator. We could always hunt Gator, too, because I do have the 338 on me. 
I can't say I'm good at it, but... Probably turn that off now. That's another twiglet we need is a twiglet alligator. Okay, there's a female. The call I heard was a male, though. So... Don't see them. Oh, oh, oh. I see him back there. I'm trying to get a beat on him. He is scuttling around like a flea on a hot tin plate. Ah! Stupid shrubbery. Ah, uh, he dove into the water. Probably nothing super important. For me, hunting gators is very, very difficult. I haven't had... Hello? Well, I know you're down there, Missy. It's alright, I ain't hunting you today. Only opportune... If opportunity knocks, will we hunt a gator. Like, if we see a legendary, yeah, we'll, we'll abandon everything else and go after one. Alright, so let's see. Yes, stop hissing at me and distracting me. All right, so we had quail down here, 7 to 10. So let's jump over. Let's jump over here and um, reset our time and see if we can get over to that quail patch. So, how is everybody doing tonight? Are we doing good? A little bit quiet out there in them chats. Ooh, there's a laptop on the bed. Hmm. Alright, maybe... Maybe we do eight. Alright, so let's get over. Which way? Which way? Alright. Out here in the cornfield. That's good, Jerem. I'm glad to hear that. Have you been working on any kind of trophies or anything in Call of the Wild lately, or are you taking a break? I know, I need to have a, have a, a sound bite set up on uh, the live stream so I can push it and there's just crickets. I think that would be funny. Alright, first quail call. Get on over and see if we can get a quail. What I'm really hoping for is a albino quail. Seeing if we can find one of those, because they're some of the rarest in the game. They only spawn one in every 37,000 plus change. And then to get a male diamond would be fantastic. Side anything. I think because of the underbrush in here, actually getting a bead on them and getting a getting a sight on them is going to be very very difficult. So it's best to just keep that gun at the ready. Jerem, I'm kind of slowed down on Call of the Wild, but just been running around looking for random trophies. So yeah, that sounds about right. That's sort of what I've been doing with a few, like, directives from the community, just to kind of keep things interesting. Yeah, there's a lot of talk right now about the hints as to the upcoming map. Is there a particular new map that you're looking forward to the most? Like, everybody's banking on Africa 2.0, and I don't know how I feel about that. Especially if they introduce things like Elephants. Let's go flush him. Herbs. Got one. 
Reload, reload. Come on, come on, come on. Got another. Cool. We got a couple. All right. A nice... Ooh, a male. Great. So, wait. Oh, okay. Okay. So this one is going to be a little bit different for Twiggy because their score is so weird. They have a 182... They, their, their scores are in the hundreds, naturally. So how we figure out a Twiggy for this one is going to be weird. But we did get a gray. Not too shabby. I don't think that's a rare fur type for them. Aram, I want something with elk and a great one elk. Well, elk was one of the front runners for... Ooh, a nice gold male. Um... But uh, was one of the front runners for uh, the next great one, that and the fallow deer. But um, it, re it will really depend on what they do because they were also talking about a species that was native to one of the flagship maps. So um, we might see something like a coyote great one. I'm not sure. All right. Well, just checking the fur. Uh, quality on this one and yes it's also a common but uh, yeah that's not bad for for early starter 203 gold he barely makes it awesome we'll go see if we can flush the other two that took off flying but yeah I think a great one elk would be beautiful I'm not gonna lie so if I had my way, I, we would have a great one mountain lion. I think that would be a lot of fun. Oop. Oop, got another one. Doing pretty good on this quail thing. Another male. Another level two. We got him in the flesh. She's a gray, 185. I wonder if we just p happen to pick up, like, just a small group of, uh, male quail. Ooh, hunt club. Gives you lots of money. Weekly. Heard something take off in this direction, so. Small gray fox passing through. Ooh, raccoon. We do have the 223 docent on us in case we come across something small like a fox and like the raccoons. So the raccoons are hard because you do have to get full score on them, full score integrity. It's not a uh, hit the uh, small animal all over and it works kind of thing like the turkeys and whatnot, which is unfortunate because that's hard. All right, let's see what kind of damage we did on her. If I can cite that initial blood spot. Did I run past? Yeah, apparently I did. Ah, it's going to be a non-vital organ. Darn it. But oh well. Let's put a pause on that. I'll go back. Don't worry. Oop. Just saw her take off. I think she's the last of that group we were chasing. 
which since it's a female, I probably won't take too much time pushing for her. Let's go get our raccoon and carry on and see if we can find a bigger crowd of them. Erg. I lost where I was. Jaren, one more month of school this year. It went kind of fast, but I'm happy about it. Yeah, it's starting to wrap up soon. Uh, my daughter, she's getting ready to head on out and have her summer vacation, too. I can't believe that we're already in May. <laughs> it's like, where did this year already go? It's already almost halfway done. All right, coming up on our raccoon now. Maybe she'll be a rare fur type. I don't think so, though. Oh, we got her in the intestines. Oh, that's unfortunate. But she's brown. Nothing too big or fancy. Alright, so that's a not a bad looking male raccoon. But if I were quail and I were feeding, I'd probably want to be in a cornfield or something. Or maybe we'll run through these fields and see what we can pick up. Okay, we've got hair. Um, yeah, I just need five more credits, then I'm done with school. Awesome. I bet that'll be a feeling of relief. Do you know what you want to be when you grow up? I still don't, and I've been out of school for a long time. <laughs> Actually, that's not true. I completed college not too long ago. But I did a stint in the armed forces, so... That's my excuse. And I guess it's almost been ten years since I've been out of college. Hi, Forktail. Welcome to the live stream. Yeah, we're on Mississippi. We're looking for quail because that was the lead in the poll that I did recently. Um, apparently, everybody just said, let's do quail and maybe we can take up my biggest moose and put a quail on its head. I don't know. But I, I don't have a diamond of the quail species. They're very hard to get. And as I understand it, the rarest trophy in the game of any trophy, even rarer than the great ones, even is uh the albino diamond quail so i don't know might be a fun project to work on might be an impossible project to work on i don't know i also got raccoons screaming at us for some reason so welcome welcome we're taking down some quail you missed us taking down the biggest little twiggy i've ever seen in my life he is in the lodge and at the end of the live stream i will go check him out again but he was a bison uh, Plains Bison with a 0 to 48 score range. So we took him down and he was a natural bronze and he scored 15.12 was his score. So pretty awesome. Looking for quail. And maybe some raccoon. Okay, I guess you're running down this way, friend. Now, I do want to remind everybody that there are thunderstorms in my area right now, and they sound pretty intense, like we just had a lightning bolt hit close to my house. So if I suddenly cut out, that's probably why- Quail! Oh, don't fly away, quail. Quail. 
All right, well, we're back on our quarry, so let's go get him. Oh, you are so distracting, raccoons. Oh my gosh, I saw level 3, and for some reason I forgot the raccoons go up to level 5, and I was, like, panicking for a moment, because I was like, diamond raccoon, and then I had to stop myself. Oh. I botched my first diamond raccoon horribly. Oh my gosh, you're just asking to get harvested, aren't you? Now, unless you're an albino, or something special, can you knock it off? I'm gonna go chase this quail. Oh. Hi. There's a black piggy up ahead. Is that a black gold piggy? Is this a broken quail? Broken quail alert! Oh no. It's just a female. We'll go ahead and just do it. My goodness. <laughs> it was grounded, so we're not gonna get a... get a score on her, but... Cameron, I shot a level 3 quail when Mississippi first came out and it trolled. <gasps> Blasphemy. Ooh, max weight raccoon. No, that's not max weight. Sorry. 23 to 28 is max weight. Um, but we have quail! That's unfortunate that your quail trolled, though. Oh my gosh, I I would just I'd be beside myself. Nice rabbit. God, there's so many things distracting me right now. That rabbit that rabbit isn't a uh, Mella, is it? Well, well, that's going to have to wait. All right. Well, I didn't hear them flush. We need flushing dogs. Who's with me? We need dogs that flush birds and stuff. I mean, seriously. It is a need, not a want. Like, they point out the direction you have to go because this is kind of hard. You have to kind of follow the sound cues if you don't want to go stalking through the underbrush for hours. See, Forktail, I had a red ptarmigan that was broke and wouldn't fly, but I left it, and there was another stuck against a lookout tower next to it, but I shot it, lol. One. Yeah. I've had a lot of broken animals on my map since the update. Okay, we got a rest zone for quail. So that's helpful. Guess we can follow their footprints out and see if we can catch up with wherever they these ones got off to. When in doubt, track it out. 
Oh my god, raccoon. Where do the quail tracks go? Going straight. Okay, here we go. Yeah, they're going to be out in this cornfield. That'll be good. At least I think so. Maybe they're even further off. All right. Okay, another quail feed zone. Thank God, these raccoons. The one thing I hate about Mississippi acres is that the tall grass makes it very, very difficult to hunt animals like the raccoon. I got two white willow ptarmigan now. Great job, Jerem. That's awesome. I have one sassy ptarmigan, and I'm not even sure what color it is. I think it's molting be honest. David, sorry I disappeared. I had to check the cows. That's fine. That's fine. I'm with the how hard it's raining at my place right now. I almost want to go out and check my chickens, but I'm pretty sure they're in the coop and they're fine. It's wild out there right now. Jeez. Or I've been having a lot of broken animals too. Yeah, it just seems like a kind of an endemic thing now since, uh, New England came out. Like, bobcats, for me, have been really, really badly broken. They just, they don't run anymore. They're like how mountain lions used to be. Like, where you'd shoot at them and they'd freeze. And that's sort of how it is right now. Alright, well, I didn't catch up to those quail. And I'm just going to keep running around till I find something. But we've got a couple of new need zones. We've got a rest zone here. I want to see what's over in this area. But yeah, uh, going back to what you were saying, Fortail, about the retrieve... Pardon? Excuse me. Had a hiccup. Um, uh, getting the retriever dogs in here would be so helpful for hunts like this. Absolutely. Send them in there. Flush the, flush the birds. Um, have them kind of follow where they go. Because, um, I don't think they leave tracks on the ground when they fly like the turkeys do. Ooh. I don't know if you all hear that, but that's the lightning outside my house. Forktail, uh, Mississippi drives you crazy because it's super hard with the alligators. Yes, I was just saying earlier when I first lo loaded in, um, we had a, a gator or two hiss at us, and uh, gators are not my strong suit. Um, I was hunting a mythical once, and no matter what I did, I couldn't get close enough to hit it right. Horrible. put out word that I was going to stream tonight, and you know it's a weekly thing. No excuses. How are you, friend? Um, yeah, we're on Mississippi looking for quail. Oh, broken quail. <gasps> a level one! Fly, friend! Let's see if you're Twiggy! Fly. Get up there. 
Uh, let me try this then. Sometimes this will trigger a broken animal flag. I want to see if you're Twiggy. I'm not going to shoot you. Go on. Fly, birdie. Fly. I want to take a print screen. <gasps> oh my gosh, look at him. So sassy. What's sad is, is that these animals are so endangered near where I'm at that you can't hunt them anymore. Oh, there we go. Here we go. I don't know if that worked. He went up into the tree line so fast. I doubt it worked. But we'll head off in this direction. Yeah, and I used to remember seeing them all the time when I was a kid. We need to see if he was a Twiggy. Where'd he go? I hate not being able to find tracks on the ground for them. This gets very annoying because you literally have no idea where they're going. Oh, now it says I'm experiencing buffering. Can you guys hear me and or see the stream? Or tail the gators are experts at uh, using the trees to block them. Yes, they they very much are. That is so frustrating. And I guess we'll just cut through this field. So the live stream is telling me again that buffering it can be expected. So I apologize if that's what you're experiencing again. Eh. Trying to find where all these quail get off to. Is that a house? I don't know. No, that's the house I have. Okay. Tail. Now I know to take a picture to fix the animal now. Yes, absolutely. Um, sometimes it works. Sometimes shooting uh, next to them helps. And I'm beginning to realize that the live stream may be a few minutes behind based on your responses. So, again, sorry. Hope you can stick it out. If not, well, I totally understand. I wouldn't necessarily want to do that either. Though Coop takes the cake and that's why he got a video about hunting red fox. Because he stuck it out. So I think the live stream is just buffering again. Loading trash can. 
Thank you, Magic Trash Can. Bonus points if you know what that's from. It is past feeding time, so they're probably going to nesting sites. All right, I think I'm going to cross the river here, head north. Palm Interactive, hello! You're new to live stream. Welcome, welcome. Thanks for joining us. The uh, live stream seems to be buffering pretty heavily right now, so you're probably going to get this information a few minutes down the road. But we're so happy to help you or have you here. Um, right now, we are hunting for quail in Mississippi Acres because that's what my community said I should do, and that's what I'm doing. And right now, we're getting ready to cross the big river so that we can kind of hunt on the far side. Because uh, I had a little success with quail down here, but now I want to get and see if we can find something, some more concentrations. Alright, so now we're across the way, and we are going to run up and around this way. Alright, I want to see if this is buffering in real time or if you guys are a few minutes behind. So here is my question for you. Hmm. Uh, how much wood would a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood? There goes a turkey. There's another turkey. And there goes a turkey. Watch, it's a diamond. Just... Out of the blue, because I couldn't see what it was. And I think this is a male. He had the, the beard, I think. Or, not the beard, the big red wattle thing. Eh. Oh, it was a male, but it was a silver. A, a level two. Cool. There. Ooh. What if it's a great one? What if it's a great one? Let's go check it out. It says I have negative one viewers. <laughs> I think my live stream's broken, guys. Oh my gosh. Negative one viewers. That's that's the best I've ever done. Hey. Wild. Nah, it's a tiny little bear. Aw, shucks. I was hoping... And he had a female with him, so nothing, nothing too sinister. Oh, drat. Tail Devil. I've been hunting New England mountains all day. Got a couple of quail there. I really like New England mountains because it's really fun, especially the missions. I haven't played the missions yet on uh, New England mountains or anywhere else other than Quattro and uh, Leighton, really. But it might be something worth checking out. Oh, this was something I actually wanted to go check out, see if it was a house or something. 
But yeah, maybe maybe uh, do do it with the community to do the actual missions with the community. How does that sound to you guys? Oh, it's a hunting stand. Oh, lame. It's been a long time since I've been on this map, so I forget what's out here and where everything's located. Oh. Okay. Oh, um. <laughs> wow, it just laid down. It didn't even do that hop thing that they typically do. Here was that. I was going to say, how am I not hitting you? And there's a gator nearby. Ooh, a nice gold female rabbit. She's a brown. 168. All right, not bad. Let's go check out our turkey and then maybe we'll go check out that gator. I know it says we're supposed to be looking for quail, guys, but right now I'm taking whatever I can get because I think the live stream is, is really ailing right now. Negative five viewers? What? What is going on? I think my live stream is done broken. So if you watch this later, just know I have negative five concurrent viewers. I'm sorry, I got your maid already. Little Silver. Not a very big boy. Oh my god. All right, we got this tier on Hunt Club Beta. And if you want money, Hunt Club Beta is a really strong way to go. There's a decent level 6 gator over there we can try for. That starting poundage. Just looking. I don't know, I kind of want to get closer if I'm going to do this. All right, J-Room, you have a good time. Hope you enjoy some fresh air. Sorry that the live stream is giving us so many troubles tonight. I'm really going to have to think of some way to uh, fix all this to make this a consistent thing. Because I don't want to bring these poor quality experiences to all y'all. I really do value your time and I want it to be an enjoyable experience. And just lately we haven't had any luck with it. What is it doing? Okay, it's just sliding around. Lately, we just haven't had any luck with uh, my live stream being consistent, and I'm very, very sorry about that. Thank you for sticking it out as long as you have, and uh, I hope that you enjoy some fresh air and enjoy your time outside. Oops. Where'd you go? Yes, I know you are angry. I'm sorry, I came up too fast. Oh. See if that worked. See if that worked too. And it looks like it did and he died right there on the point of land. 
And the female took off. Okay, so... We have a gator. Alright, yep, you too. Have a good day. Alright, well, I guess my live stream has caught up. That's good. Yes, I'm sorry, lady friend. I know you're mad at me. Probably for hurting your mate. Yeah, yeah. Sass, sass, sass. I saw something slide into the water. Yes, I know. Angry, angry, angry. I see you over there. Ooh. We'll wait for you to come back up for sure. I guess it is gator time. Supposed to be chasing quail. We have Widgeon out here? Or female. Oh, they're landing way down there. Okay. Have some widgeon coming in. Y'all know there's a gator out there, right? As I wade deeper into the water. I did see some deer. I saw a doe. Got some mud bugs out here. If so, where are they? Ah, there's a gator right there. Okay. Maybe that's why they're bothered. All right. Well, back on the trail. Is 
says. Where's the rest of your herd? Don't think I'm going to find quail weight out here, so. But maybe fox. Is there anyone out there? Hello? All right, friends. Well, we're about an hour in, and due to ongoing issues with the live stream and buffering and that sort of thing, I suppose I'll go ahead and end this here. If you've watched this all the way through, thank you so much. I really appreciate it. And check back on the channel for updates to videos and other content on the Hunter Call of the Wild. I really hope everybody enjoys the rest of their week, and I'll see you on the next live stream. Bye!